Briars Rugby TV is presented by Concord Land Rover, driving Briars Rugby above and beyond. Atomic Beer Project. New South Wales Rugby TV, powered by Clutch. We thank our 2021 sponsors. open side backline move set up. Let's see how they go. It's intercepted by the Briars. That's the number 13, Daniel Terry. He's got no one near him. It's a try. Hold off this ace attack. Line out one. Thrown well. Big drive on by the Beast. They can't stop that. Surely not. Or have they held him up? Ref takes a good look. Held up. Spreading this ball outside, Farah cuts out, decides not to throw it. Spinning around, touch football style. Now he finds support, Quinn looking inside, can't get to the line, still short five metres. Leslie Lee driving up this middle part of the field of the tram tracks, trying to get over the line, can't get there so far. Bryce still hold possession, can they bust over the line? Penalty inside the five metre line. Surely got to be worried about that in terms of a yellow or a penalty try. We play on here, the number eight, tap and go. Trying to get there. He's got there. Is he on the ground? He is. Just inside the tram tracks. About 14 in from touch, 25 out or so from the post. Doesn't look too bad. It looks pretty good. Flags go up. on the Bryce here inside the 22 attacking breaking away the number eight's going to go himself he's short he's there back line is set it's a bit of a clumsy one they retain Ananen looking cuts out Mears I think that's Hordy outside to chase Rye can he get to the line he does it's a try to the Briars. ball comes loose it's a knock on trying to run around this set team Tristan Mears at fullback Kicking through for Sidoveni de Lailoa. Can't find him. Diffused well there by Harlequins. That pass was flat. Oh, there's an awkward looking dump tackle. What colour is it? It's a yellow. Scrum feed now to Harlequins. On the cricket pitch. Will make it a bit harder to dig in. Oh, ball got trapped. I think there might have been a hand in there. And then Strikes it. Looks long enough. Looks straight enough. No, maybe. Yes! And that's half time. The Briars will have a mulligan. About 20 metres out now. Here goes the rolling mall, but it's rolling backwards. Great heave by Harlequins. The ball's at the back. Siren trying to drive up the middle. Big sexy offloads to the winger. Have a look at him go. He's in. Nicholas Keith, another try. Five metres away now from the try line, just in front of the goal post. Keeping an eye on the referee and the players. Good ball given. Can they hold him up? Trying to hold him up. Is he short? Is he over? Drop back. Still with Harlequins trying to go under everyone and burrow over. Can't get it. 14's going to go himself. Breaks through the tackle and scores. And this game just got very interesting. Spreading it. Need to look for a counter-attack here. Try and create an overlap and steal a victory from the jaws of defeat. 
poor service. Cleans it up well, goes to ground. Bodies there for the men in gold. Harlequins get the ball out. Kicking. It's a bit of a speculative one. Mears has got it covered. The bounce is unfriendly. It's very unfriendly. Drops the knee in accidentally, I'm sure. But the winger's got the ball. And if he had someone in support, there was no one there. Nine keeps it in for the Harlequins. Sideline, trying to show him there. Stays inside, about three in from touch. Looking outside, trying to get this ball to the overlap on the outside. Juan trying to cut off the pass. They've got the numbers there. The outside centre gets it away to the fullback. The fullback's away in the corner. And on the stroke of full time, they're in. They might have stolen the victory here. They were down 5-0 in the first minute and have led ever since. Until now, Tony B Project scoreboard has the visitors up for the first time since the opening minutes. Mears catches it over the 10 metre line. Is there a twist and turn left in this game? Trying to steal back the lead in the dying minutes of second grade in this Farrant Cup clash. I think that's Marty Sayuli trying to drive up the middle about 30 yards out. Ball is being held up, trying to be stripped away. Penalty Briars. As it stands, Briars will get the losing bonus point. Bri uh, Harlequins will not get a bonus point. The kick's successful. Still trying to use this ball, Harlequins. They just have to consolidate this lead. They're up by one. A try here denies, a converted try here rather, or penalty try, denies Briars a losing bonus point. Penalty advantage coming. Surely a man in the bin after our chat last time down here. To the five metre line now. Harlequins can close this game out and stick a dagger through the heart of the men in gold. Trying to spread this ball. Cut out pass. Can he go himself? No, he's brought down shy of the five metre line just about, or maybe inside it only. Still trying to drive. They push him back. It's a penalty. Advantage breaks down. Does he kick it? He does. If the Harlequins can get one at the other end, bonus point for them. Deny Briars the bonus point. Simpson out to Juan. Looking for DA. DA's got support. That was thrown to Cordy. Can't get support there. Is it going to end up with Harlequins? I think it is. But there are bodies there for both sides. Where's this ball going to go? It's going to go up in the air. Gary Owens going to stay in field. Throwing it back to Mears. Looking for support, has Highmarsh. Highmarsh has Siren. Siren outside him, has Jam, but can't get to him. Goes himself. He gets it to Sayuli. Sayuli needs support inside the 22. Brought down well. Simpson back inside to Gardner, I think, in the number two jersey. And that's Jason Horty. Both benches screaming. Simpson goes himself, can't get over the advantage line, really. Ball goes out the back. There's Hindmarsh digging into the turf, trying to come up with something here for Briars. Can they steal this win? Back to Mears. Overlap possibly. Sayuli goes himself. He's got Keith outside him. Can he get over the line? He's short. He's short again. Still with the Briars. Briars trying to steal this win. Led the majority of the game. There goes Siren himself. Can he get over the line? No. Brought down there. Plenty of numbers. Penalty advantage. Is there a twist or turn? Where's the referee going? He's staying where it is. Yellow card. Unbelievable. It's going to be 14 on 15. And surely next penalty, we go under the post, and it's a Briars win if they hold on. Siren driving up the middle, looking for the goal post. Can't get it. All he's got to do is ground it. All he's got to do is touch the bottom of that goal post, and he's in. Trying to spread the ball. Poor service. Will one. Goes himself. He's in. Briars have stolen it. Unbelievable. on the Briars to get back and they're being rolled back. Dominant scrummaging here from Harlequins. Trying to pick and drive. He's got the line. That's all he needed. Ball takes an age to come out there. Manasa, Casper looking out the back wraps around to Manasa. There's Koziola coming to the other side of the field. He's been dangerous all season. They bring him down but he's just inside the 22. Bodies are there for Briars. Reinforcements slow to come for Harlequins. Daniel Simpson drives up the middle. They're well in the 22 now, about 15 metres away. Penalty advantage to come. Three puts him in the lead by a point. 
socks up this week, at least as far as I can see. Probably learnt from last week. Manasseh kicks the goal. So play resumes. Bryce coming out of their own half. There's Lachlan Mills driving up the middle. Can't get to the 10 metre line. Saw bodies all out in that field. Manasseh Simpson offloads outside to Fiorini. Has he got the legs of fullbacks come across? He gets around him only just. Just shy of the 22. He's coming from the side. There's another penalty advantage. Someone may go to the bin here. He's having to think. He's gone. Harlequins don't seem to want to get rid of this ball. They want to use it. They want to pressure the Briars. They're outside of their own 22. Good jackling. This is not releasing, surely. And it's another penalty. There's a back chat. They're going to march it 10 metres. McChrystal spreading it outside. Manasseh to Michael Lai. Trying to bust into the five metre line or beyond. Fraser Shaw there acting nine. Goes himself. Is he over? It's a try. Right on halfway. Goes to McChrystal. No qualms this time from the referee. Shalala needs support. Bus over 50. Plenty of bodies there. Now the pick and drives come. Both these teams just want to put some hits on now. This is shades of the old days. Both teams trying to assert some dominance. Shalala spraying the ball out the back. Manasseh gets in the way of his own player. Miscommunication. We play on. The advantage will play out here. Outside centre's got room. Gets around Koziolik. Gets around Mills. Can Manasseh stop him? He won't. That's an expensive mistake to make. And the Harlequins will close the gap. Retained by Harlequins. Driving. Driving forward. Balls come out under the eight. Taken by the scrum half. Looking for a backline move here. 13 does well to hold on to at the outside centre. Briars trying to get bodies onto the football here. Can't do so. Over the five metre line now, the Harlequins trying to steal the lead. It's a penalty against them though. Not releasing and the Briars may just be able to take this lead into the halftime break after all. Scrum getting wheeled and getting pushed. Comes out finally for Harlequins. Going out to the back line. The inside centre runs over the 13 there. He's a bit sore. Michael Lai. And now the wing is in. It's called. Must have been a forward pass. They need to get this ball out of danger and out quickly. Cootie Harder with the show and go. Looking for support. Doesn't have it brought down just short of the 10. Daniel Simpson out to Anthony Nguyen. Playing in, in the number three jersey, but acting like an outside center. Inside the Koziolik. Harlequin screaming for a forward pass. I can see where they're coming from. Referee unmoved. Koziolik brought down inside the half, 45 away. Trying to drive. Fraser Shaw gets neck rolled there. Referee clears that as well. Shalala, Manasa looking for supporters. Churchyard inside him gets turned around. Can't get it to him. Plenty of bodies over the ball now for the Briars. Gold jerseys everywhere. Switch play. Casper out to Mills. That was a high tackle. That was a swinging arm. Oh, I tell you what. I think that's a yellow card. And it is. Stolen by Harlequins. Bobbled. Referee clears it. Looked okay for mine. Harlequins will get out of jail here. Back to the 10. And he's put it down. Is the ref going to call it? He is. Scrum packs. And it's driven back by the Harlequins. Can they get it out? Shalala does well. Manasa, Simpson. Koziolik under the post. Can he get it? He's in. And about 26, 27 minutes to play by our unofficial clock. Simpson goes out himself, floats one out to Fiorini. Fiorini can go. He gets around the winger. He's got support inside. It's a poor pass. He keeps it alive. It's knocked down by Harlequins playing on. It's back with the Briars. It's a penalty against the Briars, though. Manassa goes himself, almost goes up the middle. It's stolen by the Harlequins, turned over. Chip and chase. Nguyen puts a bit of a shoulder on him. That player is still down in back play. Mills going to clean up the ball at the end anyway. Goes around his own man and kicks this ball into touch. Hopefully it'll roll. It does roll. Doesn't find the safety of touch. The fullback coming himself. Mills can't get to him. Oh, he just got him with a beautiful tap from behind. Harlequins with the ball, though. It's a penalty. Is that a dangerous tackle? Mills has been caught into the, <laughs> the principal's office. He got him from behind. I thought that tackle was legal. He's going to the, the pocket here. It's a yellow card.
bringing the ball out the back line. Lied can't get to Fiorini. Now he does. That pass was a bit questionable. He's away in any case. Max Fiorini trying to outrun everyone. He'll keep running to Burwood if he has to. Now he cuts inside. Gives it to Manassa. Kicked backwards. Was Fiorini onside? And now it's been put down. And that was a crazy bit of play. And Crystal holds it out the back. Simpson spreading it to Manassa. They've been a pretty good combination. Casper Daniel Simpson goes himself, gives it inside to Matty Siren, trying to break through the line. He gets through the 22. Briars on the attack, 20 metres out from the Harlequins goalpost. That's the 16 there. That's Casper, I think, trying to drive over this ad line. He's brought down, secured possession. Ash Simpson, Michael Lai trying to drive over the game line now, pushing over. Advantage called. We'll come back for it. Is it a penalty or is it a knock-on? It's a high tackle. Do not click off the app. He's hit it. It looks good. It is good. Manasa. Oh, that pass has almost been intercepted. It's a penalty advantage. Kasper going himself. Needs some support. Look for Michael Light. Good defense there by the, the Harlequins to shut off the passing alley. Outside now, Siren looking for support. Down the wing, Fiorini wrapped up well, gets it inside, intercepted. So, so far, just unable to find the hands for the Briars. But they've come up with the ball again. It's been turned over. There's players down all over the park. Casper is down just after halfway. There is a Harlequin down in back play even further back. Fraser Shaw, NFL pass to Koziolik. It's knocked on. Feed in. Big push from Harlequins. Big wheel. I think they've turned it over. They have. Balls come out. The man's over the line. It's a try the other way. Briars need two tries to get a winning bonus point. Ball fed. Briars hold. Siren out the back to Ash Simpson into touch. That's it. That's full time. The Briars have done it. This has been a presentation of Briars Rugby TV.